today I'm going to show you what is in my flight attendant purse. This is a bag I take with me on all my trips that has some of my must-haves to get through the day while I'm actually on the plane flying. Um, I take this with my big suitcase as well. So if you want to see what I pack in my flight attendant purse, then keep on watching. All right, so let's start with the outside first. I got this bag from Target for about $30 um, in store. It was a few months ago, so I'm not sure if they have this exact one anymore. It doesn't have a sleeve to set on the, um, what do you call it, your handlebars of your suitcase, which is one thing I wish it had. So it's not necessarily made for travel, but it's got this kind of nylon finish, which is really nice. It doesn't get dirty easily, so that is awesome. It's got one pocket here on the outside, which I carry my passport in and important document things. And what else is in here? Oh, a flashlight. <laughs> this is one of the, our required duty items for travel. So I have that always tucked in here as well. So opening up the main zipper. It's not stuffed full. I don't have that much stuff in it. I have a organizing pouch. I call this my personal in-flight kit because it's got everything that I must have. I'll unzip that in a second and show you. And so it's got this divider right here, kind of like a laptop divider. So on the smaller side, I carry the easy to reach things that I need to pull out a lot. So I'm not gonna show you this whole thing, but my ID badge is right here. Have that with me. And then that's usually where I stick my phone and my work phone in that little pouch. So in the main bag, I don't know if you can see anything. <laughs> this is what I have. I have an apron. So this is my work apron. Always have that on me so that I can easily pull it in and out of my bag while I'm on the plane. I have uh, semi-open <laughs> utensils. I usually pull out the forks or stuff I need and save the rest. Because if you're on a layover, it can be hard to find utensils if you don't pack your own, which actually I do have my own pack here in the kitchen that I'll sometimes take this one. So this I think I got from a friend. You can find them easily on Amazon, but it's got reusable cutlery. I just don't like having to wash my reusable stuff while I'm traveling. But I can see if you're on a multi-day trip and you've maybe packed a lot of food, it would be more convenient to have. But I'll usually carry the reusable ones. I'll find these inside the airport at any coffee shop or restaurant and take a couple at a time, just so that I'm never without them, because that is no fun. So next up, floating in the bottom of my bag is a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. This one, I really like the smell of it. It's the strawberry pound cake. And this, I love the spray ones. I do have the regular ones, like this guy I keep. It's in a little pouch. I do have this type of hand sanitizer, but I kind of prefer this one for traveling. And only because as a flight attendant, if you know, the bathrooms on the plane get smelly. I've even had situations where the trash was left in the plane overnight and stunk up the plane. So this spray one doubles as a air freshener. So if I have to spray this just out in the open, it works. Uh, I have other stuff I help too for smells, but that is a big thing for me is I don't wanna be around a stinky environment on the plane. So I do carry hand sanitizers, also good to keep your stuff clean. So those are great. And let's see, the last main thing I have in here, I've been flying a lot to Hawaii lately, and you never know when you're gonna get caught in a super hot, uh, humid environment, so I bought this cute little fan. Love. If you're a fire tent, you know. <laughs> a lot of us carry little fans or electronic ones, uh, especially in the summer, you need a little fan. Sometimes you get on the plane and it's super, super hot, so any kind of fan will work. But this one, I'm surprised, honestly, it hasn't broken my bag. It just looks like this. I got it from Chinatown in San Francisco for, I think, $4. It was not very expensive, but I like to keep this in here just in case it gets hot out, which I know it's winter, but it'll get hot out soon. So let me show you what's in my personal in-flight kit. <laughs> I think this is so cute. I love that it's clear on the outside. I got this pouch from Target. 
also in the store. Um, I have my name written on the side and my base because if I ever lose this, I have to have it returned, which has happened once before. So thank you for people who have returned it to me. But yeah, so it opens up with a little zipper here. Show you what's inside. So first thing I have is this little tiny mirror. My mom got this for me from the San Francisco Museum of Art, I believe. That's why it's got that cute little design. I don't know if you can see it. But it's just got two mirrors. One's more ma magnifying than the other. This comes in handy in case I don't have time to do my makeup in the hotel. Sometimes I'm on the van and I'm doing my makeup <laughs> like this. So I have to have a mirror. I have a pack of gum. I hate when I run out of this. So I usually buy some at the store and keep them in the house. Good for when you have early morning coffee break. You don't wanna smell. And on that note, I do keep a toothbrush and mini toothpaste. Uh, a lot of flight tents will use these to brush their teeth in the plane if you're on like a longer haul flight, but it's also good also in case you're rushing in the morning and you need to brush them later. So those are my, I think all the fresh breath things I have. So next up, I have a little hand lotion. There's several of my favorites. Uh, this is one of them, the Gold Bond Healing with Aloe. I think I just got this as a gift from my bestie. So I have this. I also carry these ones sometimes. This is Burt's Bees Lavender and Honey. It smells so amazing. Anything mini, really, that will fit in here. And then this is the Balea Hand Cream from Germany, the DM store, if you know about that. A lot of fly tents love the feel of this. It's kind of like slick, kind of like silicone-y. So those are some good hand creams, but we're constantly washing our hands on the plane and our hands get so dry. So hand cream, I'm not lying when I say it's a must have. Similar to that, you need chapstick. So I am sad to report, I lost my favorite chapstick, I think on the plane, maybe two days ago, which I had it, have it, I've shown it to you guys before. It's the Seal Biglow Rose Balm. Um, that's my favorite, but right now I have Burt's Bees Peppermint, which is not bad. And then I have a lip gloss, and I do have a couple lip liners too. So this one that I'm loving right now is the Kosa Sweat Lip Oil. This one's in the shade Unbuttoned. It's really moisturizing and hydrating since it's an oil. And it has good color, which I'm surprised by. Um, this is my lip liner. It's a Sephora brand, like kind of like a creamy one a gel lip liner, I believe, in number four. Um, but this is kind of my perfect nude. So that's what I have on right now. Just for touch-ups, if I want to like look cute, you know, these two are a great combo. So let's see. I also carry a tiny perfume. This is a Plumeria Cologne by Haku, which I got at the ABC store in Hawaii. It's $9. And this one, the pink one, Plumeria, is my favorite favorite. I've told all the phytons I've worked with about this. It smells kind of almost van more vanilla-y, but for $9, you can't beat it. So if I feel like I'm smelling after a long day or just want perfume, I didn't use any, this is the one I use and I keep it on me at all times. So, 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 so good. So moving on, um, I like to carry, not only do I like my hand sanitizer for if the plane is smelly, but essential oil, if you want to go one step further, essential oil is great. So this is a sweet peppermint one. I recommend peppermint specifically. So you can do a couple things with this on the plane. First thing, if you're sitting next to someone that might have an odor, <laughs> let's say, you could actually put a tiny bit of this on your finger and tap it under your nose. And that way, if you're around someone that might not smell the best, you, this just saved your life. <laughs> so essential oil is strong and it's good. Will keep you uh, your sanity intact on a flight. The other way uh, I like to use it is in the, gal in the galleys or bathroom area, if it's starting to stink, you get a cup of like a paper cup on the plane, fill it up with hot, like our steaming water, and then throw a couple of drops in there. And as the water steams, it kind of diffuses it. So this will make your whole galley smell amazing. The only thing is that I like to ask my coworkers before I use it if they're okay with it or if they're sensitive to fragrance, because you just never know. Um, but peppermint is great. It smells so fresh and so clean. So this is something I like to restock from time to time. 
but any scent works really, whatever you like. So next I have a variety of pens and Sharpies. If you're Fita, you also know we have to keep pens on us. It is a rule. Um, these are two super cute ones I just got recently in Honolulu from a boutique called Sundays. So I'll link them below. Um, they say, I don't know if you can see, but on the side in gold, it says slices. And they write so well. These are actually amazing gel pens. So I have those two. Um, and then I like to carry a Sharpie with me because if you know, sometimes it's good to label things in your galley on the paper. So, or if you're taking meal orders, a Sharpie is always coming in handy. Also, I have a tiny pack of sticky notes. They don't stick that well, they're kind of old. I do prefer the regular size ones, but if I need to label a galley, like if I'm going international especially, it's kind of helpful. So I carry those just in case. Um, something I've recently thrown in my little bag is also a tiny little notebook. I just got this as a gift. I don't think I've used it yet, but uh, also you just never know when you need paper on a plane. So it does come in handy, trust me. Also, if you're not a flight attendant, pens are a must have to keep while you're traveling, especially if you're going internationally. One thing that you do have to do, especially in Hawaii, which I do a lot, is fill out, um, what's it called? Fill out declarations or documents. We do pass out a form going to Hawaii, an agriculture form that you have to fill out and pass right back before landing. So a pen is always gonna be handy. You never know when you're gonna need it. So. I think that that's mostly it. Oh, last thing I have is a bottle of Aleve. I just refill this one and get a big container. This is why I like for headaches, you never know when you're gonna need it. Also sometimes if other people like my coworkers need it, hey, good to have. Um, but that is everything that I have in my little work purse and my personal in-flight kit, if you will. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> I'll try to link everything that I can in the description box in case you're interested in buying any of these things. No, this is not sponsored. Um, these are just genuine things that I love. So I hope that you benefit from it or can take some of these tips to use on your next travel day. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.